Okay, here are some miscellaneous tips for editing shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 10. I have a couple of clips here on the timeline and I need to duplicate one real quick. I can just click on the clip, hold down the option key and make a duplicate of the clip. I can use it as a connected clip on the storyline or I can move it to another part of the storyline. When you drag clips on the storyline, if you hold a position over a split in the clip, the other clips will move out of the way. Well, that applies to duplicating as well, so that you can insert a duplicate clip in the storyline just as you can any other kind of clip. I have a clip here in the event browser, and I can select the clip. And I can use the J, K, and L keys to preview. If I tap up to four times on the J or the L keys, it will change the speed of the scan through the clip. And I am looking for section right about there. So I'll pause there with the K, mark an endpoint, and I want about 10 seconds of this clip. So I'll bring it out to that's close enough. While I'm in the event browser you notice the selection of this clip is outlined in yellow. When I move away from the event browser the selection stays white. Now I can move on and do other things. Like I can go back and do this duplication thing. I can go in, I can add effects. Go ahead and add, um, oh, doesn't matter. I can turn on and off effects by clicking on these little rectangles by the effect name. I can just go ahead and delete. I can go to another project. And I can type either the Q, W, the E, or the D key. Right now I'll do a Q for a connected clip. I haven't gone back into the event browser. I haven't selected anything, but you'll notice that even though I'm in a different project, this little selection is maintained in the event browser. So I can type Q in this one, and there's my clip. I can go down here. I can select a clip and type D. And I've done an overwrite edit. Move the playhead, type W. I've done an insert edit. If I type E, it'll apply this clip to the end of the storyline. I'll go back to my other project. I think it was this one. Yes. And I can move the playhead here. Type the Q key. And I'm still pasting the same piece of Hummingbird clip. Now this is a shorter clip than the original. So if I move to another event, I'll go to this one. And I want to go back and I want to, well let's say, let's add more of this clip out like this. Now I want to find the original, I can type Shift F and here I am back in this event with this clip with this amount 
about 36 seconds of video selected in the event browser. What I did here was is I selected the clip here and double clicked on the time and that shows uh, the length of this clip. If I want to make it longer, say 45 seconds, I can type 45 point I can either add the zero or however number of frames, let's say six frames. I'll just do 0, 06 and hit enter and the clip will grow as long as there is enough handle on the end of the clip to grow and if I type shift F on that clip then this has grown even more 45 and 15 uh, this is there's a little bit of discrepancy with the length of the selection in an event browser here than there is here. That's because this original video was shot at 720-60p and the timeline here is 1080-30p. I can also do the same thing uh, for in reverse, I can shorten this to say 15 seconds and then shift F and you'll see 15 seconds is selected here. So some sh uh, timeline shortcuts, hold down the option key, make another duplicate. No matter where you go in Final Cut Whatever is selected in an event can be uh, applied to any storyline, anywhere, at any time, after any kind of other edit operation, adding filters, adding effects, doing color adjustments, doing whatever you want, any other way you want. As long as you've got a piece of a clip selected in an event somewhere, you can add that piece to any storyline in any project, at any location, anytime you want, just by typing the Q, W, E, or D keys. And if you go up to the edit menu, you'll see that the Q is connect to a primary storyline, the W is an insert edit, E is a pen to the storyline, which is and, and D is an overwrite edit. So if I move the playhead to right in the middle here, and type D, then it's going to overwrite the clips in the storyline starting at the playhead. It cut the end off of this clip and it shortened this clip but it did not move the end of the storyline. So it did an overwrite from wherever the playhead was to however long the selection of the clip is. Thank you.